Hello there, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, I'm the founder at Conversion Alchemy, where we help B2B SaaS companies increase conversions by matching their copy with a conversation already happening in their customers' heads. In this video, we are going to follow up uh, to the previous one where we've looked at the ideal structure of a high converting B2B SaaS homepage. So we've looked at, and I'm going to link the video up here, by the way, we are going to look at what they're thinking. So right away, we need to match what our people, what our visitors are thinking. It's all about relevance and resonance, where they come from, what they've seen and all the context around it. Then we are looking at our proof structure. What do we do to help them with that? So a value proposition to help them orient on the site. We are looking at how we do it. So explaining the benefits, the features, then the switch anxiety sections allow security and convenience. Then more proof that can help move visitors down the page. And finally, the close, which is all about confirming that they are going to get the value that we promised. As we saw, when it comes to the jobs to be done theory, there are four forces influencing the whole process. So we have the push of the current situation, the pull of the new solution, the habit of the present and the anxiety of the new solution. So we're going to see four examples of website copy, specifically home pages that I wrote uh, for my clients. And yeah, I'm going to walk you through each of these sections with practical examples so you can get a, an idea of how other companies do it, how, how copywriters do it. So let's get started. The first one, it's this project here. E1 Solutions. I work with this through another agency, BB Agency. Awesome guys, check them out. So they did the whole redesign, rebrand, and also restructuring of the website. This company previously had three separate websites, so it was a big project. But anyway, looking at the home page, let's go with the first section, what they are thinking. So it's all about resona relevance and resonance. So making the copy right away relevant to what they have in their minds. The way we do it here, it's we go with finally your apps speak the same language. Transform the way you integrate your ERP and connect your data. All the control mid-market companies need 100% configurable, no code required. So this platform helps you take data from other platforms that you use, visualize it and actually use it from wherever current tool you're using. So. This was the big problem that these people had, which was their data, their apps weren't speaking the same language, basically. So we use this whole theme of language that we see further down the page, language barriers, right? And then at the end, we have bring that data together and a lot more. So this is the way that we match their thoughts when they get on the page, right? So making it clear that we know what they're struggling with and we are going to help them get all their data through all their apps in the same language. Another example, this is Happio. This is an internet platform. We work on a couple of value propositions here. They are testing several. So this, I don't think this was the one that I wrote for them, but they are testing several and still it matches what we are looking at here, which is are what they're thinking relevance process. So you can see everything and everyone in one place, bring all your sources of information together, cut through the clutter and stop getting chased for answers. Happy as a single, easy to use and fun digital workspace to call home, right? Again, here, a lot of people in an internet, which is the internal communication platform for a company, they wanted to be able to get all the tools, all the communications, all the SOPs, processes, and systems in one single place. And this is how you can match it, right? You can match what they, what visitors are thinking when they get on the website, everything and everyone in one place. And then you go deeper and more specific to explain what this is and actually start addressing some of the pain points, right? Single is the use and fun are some pain points that we are addressing here. Another fun example that I worked on. So this is service core very niche B2B SaaS working specifically for portable toilet roll-off and septic business. 
And it's a software that helps these types of businesses work more efficiently. So guide it guides their track routes, optimizes them, helps them get paid faster and all sorts of cool things. And again, here we have get more done, stress less. Make your portable toilet roll-off or septic business more efficient, cut wasted time, manage jobs, optimize routes, track inventory, and automate billing, all with one tool. See service core in action. Again, this was a pain point that, they, that we saw their audience were experiencing, and it was very vivid in their mind, the thoughts, so they needed to get more done, and they were stressing a lot about the tools that they were using, whether it was uh, spreadsheets or paper. So this is how we match the thoughts. Then we got a uh, proxy rack. This is a proxy company that we worked on, they worked on. So they basically sell these proxies, proxy platforms, IP addresses to do all sorts of things like scraping, uh, exponentially manage and look up data online or whether it's do or bypass some controls on the internet. So. A lot of people, we saw that they were getting good tools, good IPs, but every other platform had some kind of trade-off. And this is how we wanted to match their thoughts. Get reliable, fast, and quality proxies without the trade-offs. So scrape or crawl any amount of data without having to worry, settle, or break the bank. These were the pain points. So having to worry about the data they were getting, having to settle because of the trade-offs, and spending a lot of money. So buy these types of proxies, you can set and forget, right? So here we match what they what they thought. And we also started hinting at what types of products, proxy products we sell. And this is the way that we, an example of a way that we can address the, what they're thinking, relevance and resonance section, right? So it's, it's all about matching what they're thinking when they get on the website and making it clear that we know their current situation, we're intimate with that, and we have a solution ready. And we have the proof trust section. All of these websites do it very well. So for example, here, one example of proof could even just be showing them all the platforms that you integrate with, right? So we mentioned here, all your apps speak the same language. So it's all about showing them, yes, we can help you because we cover all of these platforms. So this is an example of proof. Another proof could even just be this video here, which is the founder talking about the product and how it solves people's problems. And then we have the video again here. So this is an example of initial proof on the website. Happio. Proof here looks very descriptive and clear. It can even be just an example, like a GIF, like this one, where it shows all the different things that you can do inside the platform, inside the internet platform. And it shows you how fun, easy to use. Right? So you can see from this quick GIF, you can get a sense for all of these. They also use client logos. So this is, establishes trust and authority right away for under plus market leaders. And they show you these logos here. So you can immediately get a sense that you can trust them and you can move forward with the copy. Service core. Same thing, right? Hundreds of operators use Service Core to run a more efficient, productive, and profitable business. And again, got client logos. Proxy Rack, same thing. Instead, here we use Trustpilot reviews, right? So that you can read through. And you can even, I always recommend to make it clickable so people can actually go and check for themselves. So this is an example of proof. Quick, easy, establishes trust right away. What we do to help them with that, this is all about orientation and value proposition. This is where we introduce the product and we connect it to what they were thinking. For E1 solution, we have E1 platform from wasted days lost in translation to outcomes in minutes. No more waiting on developers or playing Django with our apps. Get the data you need where you need it without having to ask for it. So these were all pain points and kind of outcomes that these customers wanted to realize through an ideal solution. We are being a bit funny and playful here just because this was the voice and tone that this client wanted and they used. And this is our value proposition, right? So 
this is an introduction to the value proposition. And then obviously when we want to dig deeper into what we do specifically, especially for a complex platform like this one, we dig into exactly what they do, right? So they help you with integrate with data integration, with data migration, and with data reporting. And for each one, you can start getting a sense, navigate through the site. So quick access to a complex map, I would say here, but you immediately get a sense for what they do, right? To help you with this thing. Help you. The way that we do it here. It's being specific about results. All of these buyers were very results oriented, ROI, CFOs, COOs were the buyers, HR as well, internal communications, very results oriented. So we give, we introduce the, what we do with specific metrics results. For example, become 38% more productive in your daily job. By decreasing the time and effort it takes for you to access information you need, Happio has proven to make you more productive in your job, giving you more focus and more efficient ways of working. And then you can access internal pages. So this is all about making clear what they do to help you with giving you everything in one place, right? So it's all about helping you be more productive, giving you more focus, helping you integrate all your Google workspace and for Microsoft 365 help you align your internal departments and keeping you informed on all things that are relevant, right? So this is the, what do we do section? They sprinkle some proof around to back all of these claims up, which is great. And again, so we intersect with the next section, which is the, how we do, we're going to look at it in a second, but still Papio helps teams learn from each other. So this is their specific way of how they were going to look after. Service score, again, some proof actually that we actually missed, but this is an operator testimonial. So good proof here, but when it comes to the, what we do, it's clear right here. So get more productive in the office and in the field, everything you need in one tool. So it's clear that it's only one tool helps you automate billing. We help you optimize routes, track inventory, monitor progress. So all of these are areas of the, what we do section to help you with getting more done and stressing less about it. Specifically using visuals here, show these operators who are actually interestingly not familiar with software or kind of averse to software. So they need to see what that looked like and that it's easy and very visual and very data oriented. Right. So all of these are good to explain the what for proxy rack, pretty clear. Forget you're even using a proxy, find the right proxy for your use case, get started in 10 minutes, set and forget no captures, no bands, no lags. So again, we follow up our, what are you thinking section with what we do. So in this case, we make clear that it's going to be super easy to find a proxy. It's going to be super fast to start. It's clear that this is about proxies and then we introduce what types of proxies, right? So all about what residential proxies, data center proxies. So this is basically the section also because they have subgroups here for each and then calls to action to go to internal pages again. So you can see it's a pretty repeatable structure. So by this point, we have, we've addressed the push of their current situation. We, we also addressed the pool of the new solution, right? So the how, oh, actually we're jumping into the how right now. So let's look into how we do it. Stimulation, stimulation. So what, after we mention what we do, then it's all about telling them how we do it. So more than I pass, this is your complete data management strategy. Tired of dragging your data from one place to another. Some iPass solutions simply move data around. And that doesn't cut it. Thriving businesses need a platform that offers data integration, virtual integration, and the same reporting across all your apps. Data integration and automation without code. So this is all about the how. So how do they do integration, migration, and reporting? This is where we explain it. So for example, remove your biggest project risks, custom development, the complexity of data and ongoing maintenance. Smart Connect, which is one of the sub products here is 100% configurable and simplifies how you generate data between your apps. 
get answers fast. So this is all about reporting. So these are basically the two tools that allow for these three processes, right? It's like an intersection of tools. And this is all about how they do it, right? So connect, again, expanding, connect your entire stack. You're just a few clicks away from solving any of your data challenges from your core business systems. And then as we'll see some proof, but this is all about the how. For Happio, kind of intersection with the what section, Helpio helps team learn from each other. So companies that know how to manage knowledge and evolve based on that knowledge, outperform in time retention, innovation. So this is some proof sprinkled in again. That's why we take extra care of employees. They're usually tasked with managing knowledge and change. So this extra care is one of the uniqueness of how they do it. And they dig into it specifically for each persona, right? So HR, internal comms, IT and operations are the three major customer personas that they are addressing. And they go into how they do it uniquely for each of them, right? For example, 53% of Happy Oak customers say it's much easier to connect with hybrid and remote teams using features that help them manage conversation as well as identify internal influencers and shared interests. So they implying that the platform does it, right? So this is the way that we, we've addressed it in the copy. Further on that, Happy Oak gives teams control in a changing workforce. So making clear that this is an intranet, intranet that gives you control. And you can still uh, give freedom to everyone, but you, the manager, still has control. So speaking to the primary audience. And they do it how? In all these different ways. So window into all your tools, an internet in record time, super fast and friendly to get started, and communicate with input, bring cross-functional teams together in channels. So all different features that help provide the benefits that we just mentioned. Remain business critical, insights, right? So all of these are features, benefits that address the, basically how they do it in a unique way. For service core, what does it look like? We just mentioned what we do here. After that, it's how. So not just another software program. This was important to address, especially because as I mentioned, this audience was averse to software. So it was, we needed to make it clear that we, that this wasn't just another software program that you just add on top of your tool stack. So make your business the talk of town. You're using some of the language of this audience, again, mirroring them. When you're a local business, word of mouth can make or break your business. We build service cores so you can offer a better experience to your customers at every touch point. Get jobs done faster and more accurately from first phone call to invoice. Your job without the stress, again, expanding. Are you doing the work for the computer instead of the other way around? So recall service core helps you reduce manual and duplicate tasks. You can book, schedule and execute build jobs with confidence. So your staff can feel they're making an impact and don't have to lose sleep over it. And this is the how section, right? So then we, they can get a personalized demo or they can expand on each of these sections here through these learn more. And you can see it's not like a linear process. It's a constant back and forth to help people internalize the stuff. So it's not that they start from the top and you get to the bottom and you'll get the whole thing, right? You need to give people several, several ways, sometimes repeat yourselves in the copy to actually make your point. For proxy rack, this is the how they do it. So the only proxy provider you ever need. So access IP addresses from 140 plus different countries, plus target CD and ISP. So you can see this is their unique way of doing this. Easily troubleshoot. That was a problem for a lot of other proxy providers and also easy to scale, most scalable way to collect data on the web. And these are some of the features that help with that, right? And we also mentioned the trial. This is part. Your trial and your pricing model can also be a particular way of you doing your own thing. It's worth mentioning if you have a specific offering in the how section. Then we go to the switch and anxiety section. It's all about security and convenience. We saw it sprinkled throughout the site, which is basically addressing the competition and also 
yeah, the anxiety, maybe potential objections that can come up, right? So we do it sometimes with, as you can see here, with testimonials that specifically talk about problems or objections that people had or anxieties. Self-service out of the box. So this, for example, it's, it, it isn't framed as a problem, but it basically implies that a lot of other companies require a lot of training, a lot of setup uh, time. So here we addressed all of that. For example, does your sales manager waste hours every day to access important customer data? Maybe your logistic, your logistics guy is frustrated with the lack of visibility into inventory and shipping information with E1, you could, and then we help them visualize the positive future, creating managed integration across your business and bed any data with engaging and clear presentations, options, no code needed and so on. And this is the same for each of their category that they help with. For Happio, how do we address anxieties? Testimonials, right? The high level engagement is what we love about Happio. A lot about uh, when it comes to an internet, one of the big sticking points is adoption. So it's important that the whole company uses it and engages with it. Works with the tools you already use. So this is a, this addresses the objections of Oh, but this is not going to work with my tool, my very specific, unique tool. And here we present all of the integration. I mean, these are just the primary ones and you can click for more. Why help you again, dig into the uniqueness and why this is specifically the best solution for them. We might be biased, but there's a reason why help you. And then we show some social proof for, with all the reviews that they have. And also judging by yourself, using our product comparison, this again, as I mentioned, addresses the competition. So you can either click here or read their experience on reviews. For service score, we have some metrics here, establishing the trust that we need to speak to these business owners who need to see you as the authority in the field. We have testimonials from other business owners or you, who use the software and here, it's super important that these testimonial comes and testimonials come from businesses that are the exact same types of businesses, portable septic roll-off containers and so on. And this is a quick way to address the anxiety section for proxy rack. We have reviews. We have mentions again, re repeating what we just said here in a more concise and easy to scan way. And then again, addressing all of these problems, right? Tired of having to jump through a thousand hoops before actually testing a proxy, getting rid, getting hit or miss inconsistent reliability. So all specific vivid problems that these people have in mind. And then we mentioned proxy rack fixes it for you. How it works again here, when it comes to anxiety, we mentioned in the last video, how it's also important to set expectations because it's all about security and convenience. So is it going, is this going, is this, this process, not with the product, but is this process going to be safe and secure for me? And then we jump into the, how it works. So instead of forcing you to pick between the usual five, 10, 50 or hundred individual static proxies, we take a different approach, create a subscription, use your proxies, and then the API. API automatically looks through our repository. In this case, we do it through the, how it works. So instead of forcing you to pick between the usual five, 10, 50 or individual static proxies, we take a different approach, create a subscription, use your prox, use your IPs by writing your connection through our proxy. And then the API automatically looks through our repository and selects the best IP for you. Start now. So you can quickly see that it's going to be super easy, fast, done for you. And this is a good way to address the anxiety section. Another way that you could address the anxiety section is also to show your pricing upfront. So rather than having people click on the pricing page and go and check pricing out, sometimes if you are, if you know that your audience is pays a lot of attention to pricing, especially in an industry where there's a lot of I don't know, skepticism about how the product works, you can actually go ahead and display pricing right away, especially because right here we mentioned you can do this without breaking the bank. So we need to prove that this is going to be 
affordable, especially compared to everything else that's out there. And then people can still click to go to the pricing page or learn more about the specific plan. So as we saw, these two sections, they're all about addressing the habit of the present. So switch and anxiety and also more proof. We saw how these companies, how my clients, we did it with my clients. And then finally, it's all about, again, anxiety and reconnecting with kind of the put of the of the current situation so we have the close how we do it with e1 solution is a quick call to action data language barriers let e1 do the talking here again a fun playful uh, piece of copy that uses their voice and tone and also reconnects to the whole theme of language and having these apps speak the same language get a demo connect with the data guru these are primary and secondary calls to action so again easy you reconnect with the main value prop or what am I thinking section. For Happio, what's the last call to action? For Happio, we got this call to action here. Basically, see integrations and then the requested demo is always visible. They honestly, I think they changed it since we were together. I typically always include a final call to action, but you can see they basically, maybe they're testing. They want to focus on the integration for the final section. So who knows, maybe it's working, but you can see here they have, basically this is the final call to action. So using a testimonial proof and then having a requested demo. It doesn't always need to be, there doesn't always need to be a final call to action, especially when the navigation is sticky. So you always have the primary call to action available. But it's a good best practice. Service score, final call to action. No more putting up fires and shooting in the dark. Trying to grow on reams of paper, constant phone calls, messy spreadsheet, or complex software that's not built for your business is hard. Get a tool where your whole septic portable uh, restroom or dumpster business can live and get more done more efficiently. So we connect with the first piece of copy. We obviously can go more specific because we walk them through the entire platform, basically. And we remind them of their pains, right? So reams of paper, constant phone calls, messy spreadsheets, complex software that's not built. So not purpose built like this one. And calculate potential saving. Interesting calls to action. I think they change it as well. So as we work together, maybe they're testing how this can work. Maybe it's something that a lot of these visitors and potential customers want to know. So it's good that they have this very specific collection here. Proxy rack, one of the calls to action is the trial, but we finish with get residential and data center proxies you can rely on for a flat monthly fee. Again, connecting with reliability, ease of use, fast speed, quality, and obviously affordable price for a flat monthly fee being even more specific, start using in only 10 minutes, try it for 10 days. So super specific, super to the point. Now they've internalized all of the platform can offer and they should be ready to buy or they can obviously learn more through these secondary calls to action, learn about pricing and also learn about the different products they want to. So this is uh, a couple of examples of the copy that I wrote for my clients and how I recommend you structuring the homepage. As I mentioned in the previous video, a lot of these concepts are not mine. I've just put them together, studied them a lot. So I always recommend you to look into anything that Joanna Weaves at Copy Hackers is doing for the jobs to be done framework. Check out Bob Moesta. And I'll add a couple of links in the description below if you're interested. If you're interested. And this is pretty much it. If you like this video and want to get more, feel free to share it. Click the like button, comment, let me know what you've liked. Let me know if you're a nerd like me and we'll speak soon in the next video.